Sometimes in life, what isn't said is more important than what is said. And if you ever thought conservatives' complaints about the GOP establishment were all overblown, well, the past day should have disabused you of that notion. 27 hours after we first learned about the FBI's raid of the home of former President Trump, and top Republican leaders in the Senate still kind of seem unsure how to react. The Senate minority leader, who hates Trump, seemed bothered not by the raid, but by the question about the raid. What is your reaction to the FBI raid yesterday? I'm here today to talk about uh, the flood and the recovery from the flood. Then at 7 p.m. tonight, 24 hours after we learned of the raid, and after a barrage of complaints from the conservative base, McConnell finally offered the bare minimum of what should have been said all along. The country deserves a thorough and immediate explanation of what led to the events of Monday. Garland, the Department of Justice, should already have provided answers to the American people and must do so immediately. South Dakota's John Thune, McConnell's de facto deputy, tweeted today, about the fun things that are happening at the Sioux Falls Fair. Wyoming's John Barrasso, the chair of the Senate GOP, tweeted another rather mild observation, saying, raiding a former president's home is unprecedented. The Justice Department needs to quickly and transparently tell the American people who approved this raid and why it occurred. I mean, no kidding. Now, I like some of these guys personally. They're not all bad people, but the angle is about the business of saving the country. And if top Republicans believe that this mealy-mouthed response that they're giving is the way to win back power and then keep power, they are sorely mistaken. Now, we know the Republican establishment has nothing but disdain for Trump. They tolerated him, didn't they, when he was president? But they couldn't wait for him to have his comeuppance. But the problem here for the establishment is that now the voters are on to their game. And they realize that if they don't stand up for Trump now, well, they'll never stand up for the American middle class. This is a huge miscalculation for the Senate's GOP leadership. And not the first time they've stepped in it on strategy. Remember, these same geniuses of legislative maneuvering are fresh off of a massive legislative screw-up on that tax and IRS and climate change bill. They gave the Democrats a glide path to this week's big win by voting for the Democrats' $1.2 trillion so-called infrastructure bill earlier last year. My staff and I have read it totally. And defending it, my gosh, why wouldn't you want this, as one of my colleagues said. Why, didn't, why not do what Pelosi did and say, let, show us your hand first. Let's see the full text of your... Uh, reconciliation bill, everything that's in it, climate change, amnesty, tax increases, all the, the, the nightmares that we already delineated tonight. Let them show their hand, but it got flipped, didn't it? You guys got played on this. You had to vote first or agree first. They still haven't shown the text of their legislation, have they, sir? The ironic thing is you are agreeing with the squad and Bernie. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. You're agreeing with Pelosi. When they pass the 3.5 trillion, you're going to come back on the show and say you were wrong? Oh, so, so in some yes I'm responsible, no. even though we've made okay, it less, no. I'll come back on the show, but even though we've made All it right. less possible, if it still happens, somehow this is to blame. Now, okay. Laura, that logic is specious, and you know that. Well, maybe not the 3.5 trillion, but you get the point. Just as the angle predicted, these fools gave Biden the cover of a bipartisan victory, and now... The Democrats will unleash an 87,000-person army of IRS agents against conservative Americans from every corner of the country. These Republicans set the stage for this nightmare, and they don't have the decency to now state the obvious? The Biden people are exacting revenge against Trump, not for January 6th, but because they're afraid that if he wins in 2024, he'll finally drain the swamp. The swamp that the bipartisan cabal has been happy to luxuriate in for decades. Well, my friends, those days are coming to an end. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.